to my video in this video i'm going to solve arithmetic unbranched constable question which they asked this year in 2022 written exam in question 26 the question asks you need to divide 3.75 by 0 0.75 if you use the calculator then if you divide this number you will get the answer is 5 that is in the option c and in the question 27, the question is asking 5 by 7 of 644. So I have solid here 5 by 7 into 644. That is, if you simplify it, you will get 460. That is, option B is the correct answer. So in question 28, they are asking the square root of 400. Square root means that is okay square root so square roots 20 square that is equal to 400 so in the options 20 is also there so option c is the correct answer 20 is the correct answer in question 29 they are asking from among this choice which one is the prime number so if you look carefully from this option which they are given 20 is also not a prime number. Prime numbers mean only those numbers which can be divided by itself only. 20 can be divided by 5 or by 4 into 5. And 22 also can be divided by 2. 2 into 11 is 22. And 21 also can be divided by 3. Like 3 into 7 is 21. And here if you see other, other option A, 19 is the prime number. Since 19 cannot be divided by any number, it can be divided by itself only. Hmm. Let's go to the question 30. The question is asking, when a number is divided by 4, the quotient is 28. What is the number? So, from the option is given, 112 is also there. So, 112, if you divide it by 4, 4, 8, sa, no, no, sorry, uh, 4, 2, sa, 8. So, 11 minus 8 will be 3. 2 left okay 2 if we drop it down it will become 32 so 4 8 are 32 so that means like 112 is the correct answer that's option a they're asking which number is divided by 4 so that the answer will be get 28 so if you look at the option 112 is the only number if we divide it by 4 that the quotient we will get 28 so in question 31, they are asking find the value of x, okay? From this equation, they are giving this equation. So if we solve this equation, this is a very simple equation. 3x minus 15 minus 6 is equal to 0. So sin minus 15 and minus 6 is same sign. So we need to add it. If we add same sign, if they are minus sign, then the final answer will get minus only. So Minus 15 and minus 6 will get minus 21. So 3x minus 21 is equal to 0. So if we shift this minus 21 to another side, so it will become plus 21. So 3x is equal to 21. So therefore, this 3, if it shift it to another side, it will come to the denominator. So x is equal to 21 by 3. If we divide 21 by 3, we will get 7. The option A is correct answer. In question 32, this is also simplification only, 25 is equal to how much percentage of 625? If you solve properly, this sign mean percentage, okay, this sign mean 100, I mean upon 100, I mean like 1 by 100, okay, so... 25 as it is, I put it here, equal to equal, question mark is question mark, this percentage, I told you 1 by 100, 1 is nothing, so we don't need to write it here, so, off me into 625, 625, so, if you arrange it properly, what we need to find is the question mark, okay, assume question mark is x, okay, so, x is equal to 25 as it is, this 100 is down, okay, at first, if it's down, then if you shift to another side, 
sin equal sign is there, it will go to the numerator. So 25 is into 100. So 625 is in the numerator at first. If you shift it to the another side, it will, it will go to denominator. So I wrote it here in the denominator. If we solve this properly, then 25 into 100 will again 2500. 625 as it is. If you divide this, you will get the answer 4. Or if you can cancel also by 5, you will get this 4. 625 into 1 is 625. 625 into, into 4, you will get 2500. So option B is the correct answer. In question 33, they were asking like the square of a negative number is what? Okay. The, the option they are giving negative, positive, sometimes positive or negative. But if you see this example I was given here, the square of any negative number will be always positive. Okay. So the option C will be correct. For example, minus 2 square will become 4. Sin minus 2 into minus 2 is equal to 4. We know that minus into minus is equal to plus. So it will be positive. In question 34, they were asking the average height of 10 students in a class is 105 centimeter. If 20 more students with an average average height of 120 centimeter join them, what will be the average height would be? So we know that in the question itself, they were given like average average height of 10 students is 105 centimeter. And the average height of that 20 another student is 120 centimeter. Therefore, the total average height of 30 student since 10 plus 20 is called 30 student will become like 10 into 105. This 105 is the average height of this 10 student, okay? Plus that another 20 student they were adding them, okay? The one who joined them. The average height of this 20 student is 120. Why we put this 30 in the denominator? Because at first there are 10 students and another 20 students join them. So it will become 30 students. So if we solve this simplification, we will get the answer is 115 centimeters. So the correct answer is 115. A car which costs rupees 1 lakh 20,000 discount at 5%. They were asking like, what is this 5% of 1 lakh 20,000? If we solve 5%, as I have told you, percentage mean 1 by 100, okay? So, I don't want to write 1 here, so if I wrote 1 by 100 or so, it will become same only because 5 into 1 become 5 only. So, 5 by 100% of 500 into 1 lakh 20,000. If you solve this properly, this 2 zero will go down and this 2 zero so will go down. So 5 zero is at 0 and 5 zero is at 0. 12 fives are 60. You will get 6,000. In question 36, they were asking, 10 ships and 5 pigs were bought for rupees 6,000. If average price of ship is 450, find the average price of the pig. Here it is given average price of 10 ship is 450. So if one pig is 450, then the cost of 10 pig will be 4,500. So since the 10 ship plus 5 pig is equal to 6,000, if we minus the cost of 10 ship which is 4500 then 6000 minus the cost of the ship which is 4500 you will get only 1500 left this 1500 will be the cost of the pig that is 5 pig so cost of the pig 1500 divided by number of pig 5 pig then the average price of the pig will be 300 option D is correct answer Question 35 Rupees 324 divided among three friends Sonu, Monu and Hari in the ratio of 
five is to six is to seven. What is the manual share of money? This is the ratio question. Manual share. What is manual share? Manual is actually in which position? Manu is in second. Second means six. So Manu is five and Hari is seven. So Manu share will be six by the total ratio. Total ratio is five is to six is to seven. That means five plus six plus seven, which will get eighteen here. So Manu share is six. Six out of eighteen. Okay, out of eighteen, the total money is actually three hundred twenty-four. So if we simplify this, we will get one hundred and eight. In the option, it is there in the option B. So option B is the correct answer. If suppose they were asking for sonu share in the same way like how we solve mono share, we can solve also sonu share. Sonu share is in the fast, here is the fast, okay, like five, no, five, five divided by. If you add this, it will become eighteen. Five divided by eighteen into three hundred twenty-four will get ninety. In the same way, hari share also you will get one hundred twenty-six. So if we add, we need to make sure like if we add hari share plus mono share plus sonu share. All total will be three hundred and twenty-four. So, Manu share is one hundred and eight, and then Sonu share is ninety, and then Hari share is one hundred twenty-six. If we add this, we will get three hundred twenty-four. Therefore, we can prove that this our calculation is correct. Question thirty-eight. They were asking two whole numbers whose sum is sixty-four. Can be in the ratio of what in the option they were given. In the option A, they were given seven is to two, and option B is seven is to six, and option C is three is to one, and option B is eight is to seven. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Okay, three is to one, because in three is to one, if we add three plus one, it will become four. This four can this four divide sixty four? Yes. Because four sixteen is equal to sixty four, therefore three is to one is also a possible answer. Okay, but you need to check other option also. So seven is to two, seven is to two. If we add, we will get nine. Can this nine divide sixty four? No, because sixty four is even number, and this nine is odd number. Let's check option B. Option B, the ratio they were given is seven is to six. Seven is to six. If we plus, we get thirteen. Can this thirteen divide? This sixty four can be the factor of sixty four no, so this option B also we can eliminate it. What about option D? Option D eight is to seven, eight plus seven is equal to fifteen. Can this fifteen divide sixty four no? So option C is the correct answer. That is three is to one. This much only. Ah, from the question thirty nine till fifty, I'll continue in the next video. So if you like my video, you can subscribe, and you will get. More video of this kind. Thank you.